What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to another FIFA 20 Ultimate Team video on the channel guys and today it is going to be something that I've not done in a while and something I've not even done on this account yet and that is a foot draft as you can see I've hovered over it right now um, first of all apologies if I do sound a bit weird uh, honestly like woke up this morning I felt rough like really sore throat so I probably sound a little bit different but um, it's still me um, so We've got a draft token, so that's kind of an excuse to do one. Um, I'll probably start doing a few more, to be honest, just like spending the 15k, because honestly, like, I'm trying to bring a bit of fun back into FIFA, because it's getting, like, just stupidly, like, competitive and stressful, and nobody likes it, so we're going to do a little uh, foot draft challenge today. Uh, so it's not just going to be... I'll just use a draft token. It's not, it's not just going to be, like, trying to get the highest rate draft. Um... In particular today, I'm going to go for a the best kind of Brazilian foot draft that I can do. So essentially, we've got to pick. Anytime a Brazilian player comes up, we have to pick them. Regardless if they're like the lowest rated, we have to pick the Brazilian player. Uh, we'll try and get as many Brazilians in the team as possible. And then from there, obviously, just going for like the highest rate and things like that. That's kind of the only kind of um, restriction I'm going to put on myself. Um, so yeah, it's just basically going to be like a full Brazil team. Obviously, if there's not a Brazilian player there, then we will just pick any player that we want. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, let's see how we can get on. Uh, formations are not looking good to start with. I was hoping that this might be a draft I could go to like at least the semi-finals with. Because um, I'm not that great at foot draft, to be honest. So looking at this, it looks like it could be an early exit. Um, not great formations. Not any formations that I've actually used yet on this on this FIFA. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, we've got both areas of the 4-5-1, 4-4-1-1 or 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one, um, or 5-3-2. My god. Um, let's go with, should we go with a 4-5-1 attack? I don't really want to play 5 at the back. I don't feel like I'll be able to do anything with those. Let, let's, just, let's just go with a 4-5-1 attack. We, we're probably going to get it done in midfield, but that seems like the best possible option. So can we get a Brazilian? We do, so we get Neymar. Oh, it's give me all this nonsense because I've done a draft on this account, but we have Neymar. So we've got to turn down an icon Ryan Giggs, but who cares? We've got Neymar in the team, the best Brazilian player, obviously non-icon wise. So that is a phenomenal start. Moving on in the cam roll, we don't get a Brazilian. So here we get like a PSG player. So we're going to take De Bruyne because he's highest rated. Why not? into the striker position Ooh, okay interesting so no brazilian again there's ronaldo <laughs> but then there is baby dalglish which is probably the better option because it's an icon and it will get links and ronaldo is not really going to link to anyone but then it feels a bit stupid not picking ronaldo but i'm going to take dalglish i'll take Kenny dalglish because i mean what a legend uh, no Brazilian again. This is this is a tough start. We could have got Ronaldo to link with Dybala there as well, which is frustrating. Um, De Bruyne is the other player. Oh god. Um, let's just take let's just take Dybala. Like screw it. We'll take Dybala. Uh, right mid. Why is it kind of like a black thing? That's okay. So we're gonna have to take Guilherme, who is Brazilian, but he actually looks he looks alright. He looks usable. He's got pace. He can't shoot, but decent player uh, center midfield no Brazilian again uh, this is a lot harder than I expected I thought we'd get quite a lot of Brazilians I thought I'd start off with like a, an easy nation like Brazil or France something like that but we haven't had a lot so far which is surprising uh, Pjanic is probably the best option to link with Dybala not not like necessarily the best player on this on this option list but I think we're going to have to go for him. Uh, left back, come on, there's loads of Brazilian left backs. And we don't get one. Are you serious? We don't even get one. We don't even get like a, a PSG player to go into the role. So that's that's tough. Um, I'm not going to take either of the informs because of links and just not being very good. Um, I think Digne. Probably Digne. It's probably the best shout. God, it doesn't really matter, does it? We'll just take Digne. Screw it. Left centre back. Oh, let's go. Thiago Silva. Right. There's a Brazilian. Bit of progress. Can we get, like, Marquinhos to partner him? 
No, we can't even get a Brazilian. So, do we just go Van Dijk? I think we just go Van Dijk, don't we? Soft link to Digne. We've got to go Virgil van Dijk. We can't turn down a Virgil van Dijk. That's just not happening. Right back. Now, this is the problem area for Brazil. They don't really have many good right backs. We're, we're almost praying that we get, like, Carlos Alberto. So, I didn't really expect a lot for that particular pick. Um, there's actually some really good right backs here, though. Like, that screen trip here looks absolutely phenomenal. But do we, do we take Doherty or Adama Traore in case we got a whole Premier League defence? Um, who's he linked to? Like literally nobody. Let's go with Doherty. Because I feel like that's the safest option. In goal. Come on, give me Allison. Oh, we get Edison. Okay, that'll do. We'll take Edison instead. That's fine. Right. Not... Not an amazing start, but I didn't really expect to get full chem with this. So, oh, we didn't get Allison. We'll take Tischtegen. That's fine. What can we do here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at him. That's Fabrizio Colaccini. <laughs> oh, my God. What has happened to him? My word. That is a midlife crisis if I've ever seen one. Oh, <laughs> he looks like a some sort of caveman. Oh my god. Okay, no, no Brazilians. Focus, no Brazilians. Um, we're just gonna take him. I honestly don't care about silvers, whatever. Um, any Brazilians? No. Why is this so bad? This is this is tough, man. This is legitimately tough. I think we take Engels. But then I, I need... I want Thiago Silva in there. <sighs> okay, we'll take Engels. We'll take Thiago Silva out for now. I'm hoping I can get him back in. Here we go. Here we go. Giuliano. Right. In for De Bruyne. That's a good, a good swap. Come on, give me another one. Oh, let's go. Casemiro. Right, straight in. Now we're getting somewhere. Sort of, but... Chemistry wise, we're not, but we are getting somewhere. Theoretically. We just need some defenders, and we've already had, like, pretty much all our defensive picks. So, we're collecting straws, really. Dalglesian isn't a disaster. If we can get a cam, then we're just looking at the defence that's not going to be Brazilian, which I think is respectable. Oh, wow. No Brazilians there, but what a, what a selection. <laughs> what a selection. Can we realistically turn down Messi? I don't think we can. There's Salah. Lewandowski, Mbappe. Mbappe links to Neymar, but it doesn't really work. We're taking Messi. We're taking Messi. I, I don't care. I want Messi. That's fine. No Brazilians again. Oh, please. Like, De Gea and Titi. Um... It's just getting to that point where I don't really know what to do now because it's just that much of a mess. Like, it just feels like no matter what, it's not going to be great. I was thinking maybe Munier because he links with Thiago Silva. It probably makes sense, doesn't it? We'll, we'll go with Munier, put him there. Then we'll take him out and put him there. That's a bit of extra linkage. Um, it's, it's just actually the right mid who's like completely off chem. We might be able to sort this. We still have five picks left, so hopefully we can sort this, guys. Oh, okay, right, Tellers, that is a good player. Straight in there. Uh, Van Dijk is now lacking. But, it, to be honest, we, we just need to send him out. I was thinking, obviously, we can move Thiago Silva across, um, across, but that's not going to help with... Uh, I don't know, what, what happens to the chemistry if we go... Ah, uh, 80, okay. So, not good, not good. Right, we'll, we'll stick it like that. That's fine. We are, we are nearly there. We we could do this. We could generally get 100 chemistry. We get a Brazilian manager as well. Oh god. Okay. Um, I think we just take Kante because he's just quality. Mane is decent, but don't need left mid. Don't need a goalkeeper. We're just going to take Golo Kante. What player? Oh oh wow three 
See, now we're, now we're cooking on gas, cool. Right, so Neres, who I don't really need, realistically. Um, but we've got a big option here in the right back. We can sort this out now. We can get a link to Thiago Silva and to, I can't remember his name, like Guilherme or something. Um, so do we take, do we take Danilo? Because then he also has the option to link with Dybala, with Juventus. Or Raphael. Um, who is actually going to get a green link to Thiago Silva. So I think Raphael is actually the better option there. Because I can maintain that green link to Thiago Silva, but just get the extra chemistry to Guilherme. Um, so that's quite good. Two more picks. Oh, okay, that's big. That is big. Tyson, straight in. That is monstrous for the chem. That is a big, big change. That's huge. We just need a centre-back. We literally just need a centre back and then we get a whole Brazil team, other than obviously Douglas, but we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that because that's chemistry there. So if we can bag ourselves just just get me Marquinhos. Um not many great Brazilian centre backs, is there? Come on, come on. Oh, but we do get a Brazilian in Coutinho, so we will take him. Um and to be honest. We'll start with him, but we'll just sub him off. That's fine. We can put Coutinho in cam or something. So let's get all our Brazilian players, which is just one, um, onto the bench. Coutinho there. Um, have a little rejig of this. And then we'll be ready for the first match, which is going to be interesting. Because honestly, I don't really see that this is going to go particularly well, <laughs> I've got to say. Um, we're in desperate need of a Brazilian manager. Maybe like a Brazilian Premier League manager for Tel Van Dyke, but I don't think that really exists. Um, but we will see. Um, Pjanic there. De Ooh, De Bruyne there. De Bruyne there. Okay, so 87 rated. Good options off the bench. I'll have a look at that when I go into the games. But can we get ourselves a little bit more chemistry? There is a Brazilian. It takes it to 99. I'm guessing none of these are going to do it for us. No. We'll take this guy. So that's not bad, actually, guys. A 186, like, could have been a lot better, for sure. Like, we, we really needed one of, like, Brazilian icons, to be honest. Like, R9 would have been phenomenal. But, you know, we can't be too picky. Um, we managed to get almost a whole Brazilian team. It's just Van Dyke there. But it's Virgil Van Dyke. So <laughs> I don't really mind. He's a little bit off chem. He probably won't play that well. But who cares? Who cares? I am just, just want to quickly have a look. Is this... Um... Oh, wow. That, that actually does it. That actually works. Okay. So maybe we, we, we'll just play like that. It's fine. We'll just play it like that. Fuck it. Right. Okay. Let's get into the first match. Oh, all right, then, guys. So, first opponent has... A decent squad. A <laughs> um, couple of icons. A couple of like road to the final cards. Buy me a players. Inform Messi. Van Dijk. Going to be a difficult game. It's, it's always going to be a difficult game regardless. Um, but yeah. Let's see how we get on. Go on. Oh, Neymar. Get in. Get in. Come on. Let's go. Great start. Brilliant. Oh, no. I think he's offside, isn't he? Oh, is he not? Is he on? Oh, get in. I thought he was going to leave it for Dalglish, who was onside. Like, well, I clearly see he was onside, but turns out Tyson was anyway. But I genuinely thought he was offside. So we'll take that 2 0. Fuck off. Oh, no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, fuck's sake. It's entirely my fault. Please finish. Oh, fuck's sake.
penalty. Will they still move their head though? I thought they fucking fixed this. What the fuck? Get in! Come on! Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Feed it. Finish it. Get in! I don't even care that I swear it. Fuck you. That's what this game has done to me. That is what this game has done to people. So toxic, it's unreal. <laughs> come on, that's got to be it. Get in! God, that's a big win. That was that was a tough game. That was a really tough game. Like, and the thing is as well, see, I, I fucked up. I I seriously fucked up for his second goal. Like, I just didn't put enough power on like the chip clearance. I tried to just chip out to the left back. Completely balls it up. Then we go behind, and I thought I've, I've just ruined it. Like, and for me, that would just been like completely unacceptable for me to end this draft like in the first match because of one of my own stupid mistakes. I'd like, be unforgivable, but. We managed to turn it around. We managed to clutch a 4-3 win. We had like a penalty, which obviously was a stonewall penalty. We did have to do a sweaty goal, but I kind of put myself in that situation. Um, but thankfully, we do get at least one win. Let's move on to the second match. Now, just before we do move on, guys, actually, look at that. Complete domination. He has three shots on target, scores three goals. I mean, that would have been a bit of a disgrace if we did lose that. Um, Incredible, incredible stats to be honest. Look at that, that is that is mental. Yeah, thank God we won. All right then, second opponent. Oh wow, he has Baby Dalglish as well. Figo, not great sentiments. Fabinho playing centre back, but all in all, a very solid team. Obviously Premier League base with Trippier in there. Gonna be a tough match. Five at the back as well, gonna be potentially difficult to break down. Oh, go on Dalglish, go on. Finish it. Get in. Let's go. Oh, brilliant. Dalglish, can he do it? Of course he can. What a goal that was. Great move. That's it, ref. That's it. Oh, are you serious? There it is, half time. Of course, they allow him back into the game just before the break. Just to make things interesting. Probably be a repeat of the last game. Go back to 2 2. But we're playing well enough. We, we should be alright. I mean, we are dominating the game. But we will see. We will see if we get yeed. Oh, well, nearly there. Come on, that's got to be it. Ref, whistle, mate. Or we'll, just, we'll just go for a goal. Why not? The right now. <laughs> Get in. Whew. Another really tight game, but we went at 2 1. Thankfully, that goal before the break didn't end up making a big impact, but such a strange game. The ball just like didn't go out. It's weird. Like, we both tried to make subs and we just couldn't do it because the ball wasn't going out of play. But, uh, didn't cost us in the end. And, yeah. Two wins out of two. Let's so we'll quickly have a look at the stats before we move on. I feel like this was a bit more even this game, I've got to say, than the previous one. But yeah, see, limited chances really in this game. We dominated the ball. We did create a few more clicker openings. Um, so I would say, going off the stats, we did deserve to just edge that. So let's move on to match number three. All right then, guys. So opponent number three it is... Mix of Premier League and La Liga. Uh, interesting players. Some of us have got Marcelo at centre back. I'm sure that'll change. Uh, Jeff Hendrick at right mid. Uh, not not as good as some of the teams that you do see, but then that could be a bad thing. That's just the third game. Could mean this guy's really good. So let's see how we go. on. That is what I did not want to happen. so frustrating like 
you want to make your sub to get Coutinho out of centre back, but the ball just doesn't go out. Like, frustrating. Seriously. I'm getting destroyed here. I'm actually getting fucking destroyed. I, c I can't seem to defend. Like, I don't know. I just can't even get like tight to his players. I didn't seem to be any control over my defenders. It's been horrific. I don't want to talk about it. Of course, there's um, I'm dying inside. All right, then, guys. So, not a great way to end the draft. I've got to say, it was a bit of a disaster. Um, quite a highly embarrassing game, to be honest. Really, um, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't find the answers for some reason. Like, the the whole first half was just an absolute disaster. Um, couldn't seem to defend anything. I didn't feel like I had any control of what I was doing. I couldn't do any like slight movements. Every time I moved the analog stick, the players were like flying around. It it was just weird. I didn't enjoy it. Um, second half, we, we actually won the second half. But to be honest, I think that's because the guy didn't really. I think he took his foot off the gas. To be honest, is what I would say. So I I I wasn't not really going to read anything into the second half. It was just a a really bad game. Um, so we lost in the third game, which is is disappointing. I would have liked to have got like at least to the final. Um, but semi-finals is okay. You know, it wasn't the greatest team. We didn't have like the most amazing team going. It was a really bad formation, to be honest. Like in the first two games when we won, we they were obviously quite tight games because defensively there were there were obviously there were clear frailties in like right through the centre. Like. like Everybody was managing to just get out of my centre back so easily. I had no protection, um, and the way the game was, there was just gaps everywhere. People were creating chances against me left, right, and centre. And then in the third game, we just got found out essentially. Um, the guy was probably better than I said, like better than me anyway. Um, and then he obviously just completely exploited the the disadvantages between the formations. I mean, he he was playing four two three one, so it was you know he had he had a pretty solid formation. It was just a really difficult game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and claim the rewards just before we do end the video guys So usually it's like a 15k pack and a 7.5k pack for winning two games. So I'd imagine it's going to be that again uh, Oh gold players pack as well as a jumbo premium gold pack. So that's probably a little bit better actually So we'll take that There's only gonna be one rare player in there Probably like one or two rare players in here, but hopefully we can maybe get something. Uh, we'll probably we'll do this pack first, just because only got one one rare in it. So probably slightly less chance to get something good here. Um, but you never know. Come on, ah, it's just a board, just a board. Spanish goalkeeper is it Casillas? It is Casillas. It can't. I've lost count how many times I've packed him. Crazy. Get him so much. But at least we got bored. Uh, we got a Champions League card as well, and then just a few more players to whack into the club. We'll sell that guy, and then we're going to end with a 15k pack, guys. A little bit disappointing. Maybe we can get like a, a draft token to enter ourselves again. Maybe this is going to be at least a board again, which is impressive actually. We managed to get two boards. Um, that's going to be Jene, the centre back. I packed him a couple of times before as well, actually. Uh, so no walkout, but we can't really expect that. 83 rated Jene and a couple of other bits and pieces as well nothing to really scream or shout about um, a basic chemistry style which I imagine doesn't really sell for a lot anymore nope um, not even a squad fitness card just a genuinely quite underwhelming underwhelming uh, pack and obviously we get rid of that horrific kit as well um, quick sell all that so that is going to be the end of the video guys, that was the 
Brazil or Brazilian foot draft challenge. Uh, I will be definitely attempting another foot draft challenge at some point in the future. Probably do it as another national team one. I'll try and obviously pick another one that's got like there's going to be like a lot of options available because you know it's it's difficult to make because there's, there's not many special cards in the game so you got to be careful what you pick but i will have another one of these challenges coming hopefully we can win one one day um we didn't manage to do it today we lost in the semi-finals but if you did enjoy that video guys then feel free to smash a like button comment to let me know how you're finding foot draft i haven't played played much of it this year um so just let me know like if you enjoy it or not um, let me know what like, your highest rate drafts and stuff like that and if you like to challenge yourselves anyways like I just did today um, then let me know that would be much appreciated um, and obviously if you want to subscribe as well then hit that subscribe button uh, turn the little notification bell on and you get all the updates when my new videos do drop but that is it for me guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you later